Hello, I'm Jeff Armstrong and if you like this video please press the subscribe button below. In this video we are going to take a look at the new document library for SharePoint 2016 and some of the initial sort and possibly some of the filter options that come default out of the box with it. What we're looking at here right now is the new SharePoint 2016 document library with a couple of documents pinned to top. There are a number of videos that I've put up on my channel about some of the other functionality and how to pin things to the top of the new document library. So if you need a, uh, to understand how to do these things, please have a look at my channel and there are a number of videos talking about some of the different features of the new document library in SharePoint 2016. So one of the key features of the new SharePoint document library in 2016 is the fact that when you select this filter you get this new group by so if I select this it's going to automatically group all the information that I had there into these different groups of modified by by date now this is pretty new um, you used to have to do this in a folder format in the old document library and this is just straight out of the box off the front here so basic end users are able to do this and then if you want to take that away you just unselect it so if I wanted to group them by uh, you know people that had modified these documents so now I get all the documents that were modified by Jeff Armstrong here and I get all the documents that are modified by Jane Johnson at the bottom and notice also that I get the folders in here as well so this is a really nice new update and, 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 and a nice way that you can filter this information. Obviously you get all the old favourites uh, here where you can filter by. So if I wanted just to filter by Jeff or I wanted to filter by Jane Johnson and I just select that, then that's all the information that I that's all the information that I get here. And then obviously we clear that filter. By selecting that. Now, if I switch into the tiles view, which is the new view that's been added, you notice you get this arrange option. Now, if I left click that, what it does is it puts this new, it puts the new column labels in at the top here. And notice the, the things that are pinned to top get, get that get at the top here they're not they're not in this and then underneath this we get we get this um, the new labels for the columns and again if I wanted to switch by modified by group I could select that and notice now what I get is this nice new view of these this graphical interface of the documents but sorted and again if I want to unselect that I can drop that out of that and again if I wanted to say okay Look, I want to filter by modify by date. Again, I get that functionality here. And that's a quick way to sort. Something to note is the way to tell which column is being filtered is obviously by this icon here and it'll it'll show up. It's quite small, but it's worth noting so that if you want to then unselect it, you can do and, and bring it out of that. And I, I still get um the option here to filter by so if I just want to filter by Jeff then I then I can do that here and you know notice at the top here it tells us what's going on notice the icon here has changed and if I you know want to go back in and filter by Jane so this one actually is filtering by Jeff and Jane so what we need to do here is unselect Jeff and notice now it's telling me that it's filtered by Jane here and then that's Jane's documents there and if I unselect Jane then it clears the filter and we go back to the beginning so that's how we can do a bit of filtering from the front end from straight out of the document library both in the tile view and the list view so let's take now a, a bit of a deeper look at what 
we can do when the document library first loads because the, in order to make those changes you you have to do that here um, manually and you may want that to happen you may want that to occur when the document library first loads so if we go to the cog and we go to library settings What we can do here is we go all the way down to the bottom and you see we've got this all documents. Now if we left click this all documents it drops us in to the the settings for that view. Now just very quickly there's the name of the view um, at the top here and these options here allow you to decide which columns to be displayed and in what order to display them so you can switch them on and off. As we come down here we have this sort option so we can say here when the document first loads I want the document to sort by most recent modified date and if I want the most recent modified date to show at the top I need to select in descending order now something that you're going to find when you start playing around with document libraries or maybe you've already found this is document libraries work great you when you first load them and you've got 10 or 15 documents in there however when you start loading 50, 100, 500 documents what you begin to realize is you probably want the documents that have m most recently been changed or added to come up on the first page at the top because otherwise you've got to go through all of the pages to find the document that you've just uploaded um, if you're not obviously if you're not working in a um, in any sort of search format so by making this change what will happen is the most recent documents will, will will come to the top automatically so you don't have to do anything so let's go take a look at that so if we click OK and what we'll find here is here is our most recent documents and you notice that it drops back now what's interesting notice that the folders stay automatically pinned to the top that's because the the filter is only working on the documents and obviously the folders are separate so if we remove those folders we would get those documents at the top here and let's just let's just prove this by saying new new document and let's just save that back and we're going to find by default we get the new document at the top here now if we go back in and we reverse this, what we should do, what we should see is we should see that switch around the other way. There's one other feature here that I just wanted to show you as well is the item limit. Now the item limit is set to 99. If you set it to 99, you'll get 99, you'll get 99 documents on the first page before you have to use the paging option at the bottom, which uh, it can be quite helpful. So let's save that. And notice now we reverse the order and look, the new document that we added comes in at the bottom here. Um, and as I said, if you've got 500 documents, that's, that's going to cause you some trouble. Really what you want is those new documents coming up at the top um, so, that you can, so that you can see them. One thing to notice is this now sorts the documents on load so if I refresh this page I don't have to do anything to get these documents to sort in that order this is the default setting when the um, when the document library first opens and that means all users will see this and this is a way of beginning to deal with how um, sort works you can start to sort documents in a variety of different ways and if we just drop back to that library settings
and back into that view. In this scenario we, we sorted by the modified but we could also sort by the uh, modified by, so who. So if I sort by the modified by, um, if let me click OK. What we see now is all of my Jeff Armstrong's documents come up first and then Jane's. And this at the moment is in alphabetical order. If, if I go back in, I can now set a second uh, set of sort in this one. We can't pass a parameter in. We told it to sort by ascending, so it will go A to, A to, to Z. If we switch the other way around, it will sort uh, Z to A, and, and Jane's documents will be um, at the top. We also have a second option here, so we can say, OK, I want to sort by um, by modified by, but I but I also might want to set a second parameter. Let's say I've got lots of documents that happen in the same day, or I've got lots of documents that happen um, in the same um, week. Um, I might want to set a second parameter that that provides a second set of filters. So I might want to say actually. I want to filter by all the versions as well. I might want to filter by the title, so the titles are in alphabetical order, as well as who modified that. So hopefully this has given you an initial overview of the ability to be able to sort both uh, from the document library interface and also from the from modifying the view of the document library in SharePoint 2016 and being able to set it up by default to be sorted in, in certain ways. Now this is just the beginning. We we're next gonna we're gonna look at filters in the next video and then we're gonna look at combinations of how those two things can come together, sort and filters. And then we're gonna take it a step further by looking at different views and how we can apply apply sort and filter to different views where different people will see different things and really as it all comes together it becomes quite powerful so hopefully you've enjoyed this video if you have please click the subscribe button below there are many more videos and will be in the future in the channel and i look forward to seeing you in the next video thank you very much for watching